my dear brothers and sisters all over the world, accept my greetings. I am Reverend Father Asa Andre, Clarishan Missionary in the Holy Roman Catholic Church. I come to you this special day to share with you the Easter joy, the resurrection joy, the resurrection power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Especially this special day, the 16th of April 2017, where we share the joy of the resurrection. For all those who are able to make it to church, may the resurrection power continue to be multiplied in your life from you and to all those who are going to encounter you. May they, through you, see the love of Christ, see the joy of Christ, see the power of Christ. And for all those who are not able to make it because of one reason or the other, may the Lord continue to bless you because He did not, did not rise from the dead because of some particular people. He rose from the dead for us all so that we one day we will share in the heavenly banquet. That is why before He left, he said, Father, I pray that they may be one, they may be one, they may be one. That is the power of the resurrection to bring us together. And also, we also enjoy the power of the resurrection because it comes to lift us up against the normal standard. It comes to place us back in the standard that God has set for us. That may this standard be manifesting in your life. This is my prayer for you, my dear brothers and sisters. And the second thing that has brought me here today is because of the letter sent to the bishops of the Bermuda Ecclesiastical Province. Bishop Iswa, Cornelius Fontaine, Bishop George Nkwo, Bishop Mike Bibi, principals, uh, priests and uh, religious. Oh my God, the resurrection joy makes me happy because finally Satan has fallen in the house of God. You remember my first video I made when this crisis started. I called for everybody to pray and pray and pray and many did so and many are still doing. We are still doing that and praying. And in that video and I said we should pray for our leaders because they are our brothers. They are not our enemies. They are our brothers. Our common enemy is the devil. And I said we should pray so that the devil that is using them, manipulating them, the devil will be able to leave them and they will see the true picture of the problem and they will be able to solve the problem. If that problem is perpetrating today, it is because they have decided to cling to the devil and trust in the devil. And that is why we can see what we are saying today. My dear brothers and sisters, it is high time for us to come out and pray with power. And that's why I've come out today. That these bishops that are being termed to be criminals today, invited in the criminal court, my God, I see it like Satan judging God. I would like to be in that court on Friday the 21st, 9 a.m., to witness how Satan will be judging God. How Satan will be judging God. This is interesting. And that's why I'm inviting the whole world to come and see the wonders. How Satan will be judging God in the criminal court of Bamenda. These same bishops who are being charged for instigating the crisis were the same bishops that were being attacked by the people when the people started crying that they were tired of the 56 years pains and marginalization. These same bishops beg, they only advise, they only advise that the teachers should call off the strike and continue whatsoever. They just, they did not even say continue. They just said to call off the strike and consider the children and call off the strike. They just advised and the people were angry and the people went right up to some of the schools. I remember Sacred Heart of Bamenda. They went there even to burn down the school. They went even to the bishop's house, Bamenda. They wanted to enter the bishop's house. They attacked some priests. Some of us were even attacked on the road. Some even attacked through the internet. The people were angry because it's the problem of the people. And they were seeing the bishops, the priests, religious, and all the like, leaders of churches, as their voice. So they were angry. And the bishops and all these other leaders, they sat down, wrote a memorandum and addressed the situation, sent to the presidency, Mr. Pobia, for him to look into it. 
and even proposed a possible solution for a way out. See, they are still attached to the devil. They gave no hint that it meant nothing to them. They kept on with all their bad wills and satanic methods to solve the problem. My brothers and sisters, finally we can see it now clear. I am happy because now the devil itself has now fallen in the church. Now they can now convoke the spiritual leaders of the people. If they can convoke the spiritual leaders of the people, my dear brothers and sisters, you should open your eyes. You should open your eyes. If they can convoke the spiritual leaders by using some scrupulous parents, they call themselves consortium of some parents, selfish individuals. If they can use those people to convoke these spiritual leaders, it means the common people in the southern Cameroons, they have no voice. And that is why they have been able to beat them up, rape them, marginalize them, kill some, and they have been able to do whatever they are doing because those people don't mean anything to them. If they cannot respect their spiritual authorities, it means the life of those people means nothing to them. And that is why today my clarion call is that we are priests and religious from CWA to CMA to cadets. That Friday we all should be in the Supreme Court, in that their court in Bamenda, the criminal court where today they call these bishops that have been fighting for peace, criminals. We should be there, not for any violence, not with any anger, but to go there with resurrection joy and pray and see how Satan will be judging God. It will be a nice case. We should be there so that our presence will purify that environment that is full of injustice. Our presence there will have to chastise Satan, who is manipulating those people. So even the judge who is going to judge that case will sweat from his head to his toe. My dear brothers and sisters, and my last advice to the President of the Republic, who is giving the impression already that the country is divided, and who is giving the impression already that the Southern Cameroonians can now take their stance, and be what they're supposed to be. If he is wise as a son of the church, he should write an immediate letter and call off this case. And call off this case. The world can now see where Cameroon is. And the world can now see the difference. My dear brothers and sisters, we have to pray, but let this not distract us. Because the devil wanted to distract us by serving this letter to these our spiritual leaders. In a holy week, in a holy week, no respect, in a holy week. And that is why when the bishops send their communique outside today, calling for calm, it's a sign of good shepherds who want peace. But I think it's time for us religious, priests and religious to start teaching our people the history of our people. Teach them the history. Use the memorandum. Go in for more research and come out with the authentic history of Southern Cameroons and the Cameroons. So that everything will be clear to the people. The authorities are there because the people are there. The people decide their fate, not the authorities. The authorities have authority because the people have given them the power, the right. You are not an authority without the people. So, and that's why I'm calling of all my brothers and sisters, calling on all my brothers and sisters, those in the French zone, those all over the world, those who have been so indifferent about the whole case, those who have been manipulating the case, selfish ones also who are working with the government, like the one they call Peter Mafani Musonga. 
Atangaji Paul and all the other people that cannot stand. It's a shame already. But I'm still saying President Paul Bia, you have an opportunity again to cut off this case as fast as possible so that the country will not take another shape. Our people need peace. Cameroon is known as a peaceful nation. Cameroon is not known of all these. But the devil is taking you people to your grave. You have been worshipping the devil. And the devil is proving to you that he is your God. But remember the resurrection power. Jesus is above every other power. And that's why convoking the bishops is an indirect way of summoning all the peoples of Southern Cameroon. Meaning that you have all convoked, you have convoked all of us to the court and we shall be there either in spirit or in the physical and see how Satan that is manipulating you guys is going to dodge the shepherds of God. May God bless you and I wish you the best. Let nobody be angry. Let nobody be disappointed. Rejoice because this is happening so that the glory of the Lord will shine. Remain blessed. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bye-bye and have a very wonderful celebration.